Okay, hello, welcome back to uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm doing a few missions now. I'm Right now I'm doing an assassination. I'm kind of sneaking around. And I have to kill him with a headshot if I do this right. And at the moment I am actually well hidden, so... Alright, good. So I'm going to wait till he comes closer. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about conspiracy, or uh, fan theories, I should say, not conspiracy theories, uh, in video game, in Assassin's Creed. And normally I don't like the Assassin's Creed conspiracy, or fan theories, because um, they're often very, uh, how to describe it? I'm actually going to move over to this point, right over here. Um, I, I've, the whole backstory to Assassin's Creed, while interesting, I find to be uh, pretty disrespectful to organized religion uh, in general and Christianity in, in particular. And a lot of these fan theories uh, reflect this. But there's one fan theory I came across the other day that I found to be particularly interesting that I'm going to kind of discuss, and it has to do with the uh, Animus. Now, the Animus in these games is a device that allows you to experience the memories of your ancestors. And sadly, not around anymore. Um, sadly, we don't have that because that would be great for historians or ancestry research or whatever. But we don't have it. But, uh, but this uh, theory has to do with how we perceive things. So, for example, if a... Uh, uh, so, say, say, so, to give an example of what I mean by our, our perception, a, uh, there's a, uh, uh, say a, a man is talking to a woman and says to her, you look pretty in this dress. Well, one person watching it will say, oh, that's very nice, very gentlemanly of him to have said that. Another person will, will say, oh, that is so sexist, that is so disrespectful. And uh, yet another person will say, oh, he, that is so rude, he was being sarcastic and that. So you have three different points of view on the same thing that happens. So this idea, this fan theory about it is, what if the, the memories we are experiencing aren't what actually happened in history, but just what our ancestors perceived to have, hap have had happened, what their memories say there were. And memories can be deceptive, as can really a lot of different things. And these memories... Got it. So I'm going to do some fighting. Now. So what if their memories aren't um, as accurate as they like to think they are? Well, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Okay, so... So... So what if these uh, memories that we're believing aren't, like I said, as accurate? What if there was is more to it than that? Hmm, I still, still seem to be well within sight of these guys. So, like I said, what, you know, what if these memories are, um, not accurate, like I said, but what if they're the perceived ones, and what if these same memories are the type of things that have been exaggerated over the years? That would actually explain a lot. It would explain why um, the assassins can do so many absolutely incredible things, and it also explains... Ooh, 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 there's some treasure chests over here. I'm going to head over to the treasure chests. It would also explain why, um, you know, it just all, it, yeah, it would explain so much why they're so skilled, why they can do near impossible things. Um, let's see, where's that treasure chest? I just marked it, didn't I? You saw me mark it. Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, and it, it, this theory also raises some interesting questions. So, let me kind of give you 
well, how much of this, these memories are not actually our ancestors' memories, but are influenced by modern day um, events or things or items. So, let's take this grappling. So, I have this lovely uh, grappling hook that gets me up really quickly. Now, that's pretty darned technologically advanced for Victorian England. Or, let me switch over to this. That is a voltaic bomb. It's essentially, we'll tr show it again. What it essentially is, is a taser bomb. It doesn't affect you because you have uh, s things in your souls. And it was apparently invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Victorian England. Or, let's take this. Evie can, to all intents and purposes, become invisible. Or at least, you know, give us this uh, predator vision. And so on. How much of that is influenced by what actually happened, or supposedly happened, in this time period? And how much of it was influenced by, um... The modern-day person looking at it. So... At one blow, it raises many, many questions regarding this game, the, um, yeah, well, not just this game, but pretty much everything. It raises so many questions about this game, about how much of it within the chronology of the game is actually real and happened, and how much of it is just, um, an invention by this or that. How, how much of this history of the uh, Templars and the Assassins is accurate and real? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, it makes me wonder. Let's see. There's supposed to be a chest. Ah, there it is. And also, I'm just going to point this out. Most people, Assassins and... You know, I, I just wonder how, how she can see through walls and do like the, that really cool vision thing. Unless it was a creation of the game. And the idea that this game, that the Animus itself has been refined, that's why we have all these new skills and abilities, you know, in each game, uh, is also a thought that, ah, uh, perhaps the people who are experiencing it are bringing new things into it and it's not what their ancestors actually did. So yeah, I just wanted to share that fan theory and the thought and kind of the philosophy that it evokes in this game. So uh, like and subscribe if you like this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.